man. <laughs> it's been a long day. It has been a long day. Okay, it's been a while since I filmed. So the weather has been like all over the place. Um, and I had been doing some live streams, but you know, the quality's not there and then it gets disconnected. So I'm going back to like standard filming here. Um, yeah, let's see what's been up. I'm at 2060 miles right now. I'm working on my 2000 mile video, but I've just been so busy. <laughs> I got the light on. It's like 5.30 p.m. in Southern California. Uh, try to help this thing up the hills. Yeah, just uh, a lot of work. I really, when I started thinking about getting on the bike today, I was just not really excited about it. And then uh, I guess I continue. I think it's probably a good thing. <clears throat> if you have a stressful job, you need something to kind of unwind. If I was just sitting in a car, I would just be sitting there probably thinking about work. <laughs> This kind of forces you to uh, think about other things, you know? About... On top of it, I can help it up the hill, get some exercise in, instead of standing or sitting at my desk. Activity here. Slow it down. Yeah. It's funny, my dogs do the same thing. They attack bikes, skateboards. Let's give it a little warning shot. Yeah, the video looks really clear. When I look down, I can actually uh, see the things filming so much better. And uh, yeah, there you go. It's getting a little colder. Yeah, we had a ton of rain. I showed you guys that video we had rain the other day and I filmed that the other day, but then this morning I'm watching the news and it's snowing in New York. And if you watch the video, there's some guy on an electric bike in the snow commuting. I mean, he's just like tooling around like this is normal. It's really impressive. you did it's like you don't think you see it every day then all of a sudden you start seeing it all over the place we're gonna bounce around here it's a cool full moon I like that. Can't quite see that on the camera maybe, but if I did a wheelie, you could tell. Yeah, in the news lately, the last couple of months, we've uh, had a couple of people hit on their bikes uh, just the other day 
There's a guy down here in Southern California got hit by a bike. He's around 40 something, around my age. And uh, I think he's in a coma right now. It just makes you wonder what happened, right? I mean, so I don't know. I, I think it kind of has me second guessing whether I take the, uh, the wider sidewalks. That is a lot of people right there biking. Some sort of club, perhaps? Help this thing pedal up the hill. Okay, we're good there. I right hear maybe you can see the moon right there. Moon? Maybe not. Oh, there's a plane taking off in John Wayne Airport. Shit, I missed the light. Get banged up my camera there. Oh, oh, those guys are coming this way. Yeah, that's gonna be interesting. Okay, let's get the camera angle back. Oh. Probably good. I've got like 10 to 15 bikes behind me right now. Let's try to get ahead of this guy. There we go. Got it. Yeah, it's always uh, pretty intense when you have that many bicyclists behind you. <laughs> but I was able to just jump right in front. I said though, being on this road, if somebody hits you, that's a bad day. I have to let that thought go. It's a beautiful night. Southern California. I am starving though. I've been watching the, uh, the Alone series on, uh, what is that on the History Channel, Lifetime Channel, one of those channels. And uh, they always talk about how hungry they are on that show. I don't think I would last a day. Just my metabolism is too wound up. But yeah, I always find it interesting just how people uh, adapt and certain people you think, oh yeah, that person's totally gonna win this thing and they, they bail on you on the show.
That's one thing, I wish I could play music while I'm recording. Uh, I have an iPod at home. I guess I could do that. It's just like so much trouble, you know? Somebody must have been texting at the light, so somebody honked. It happens way too often. Which again, why it has me concerned. People aren't paying attention. I do have these lasers uh, shooting down on the ground, which I think help. Yeah, those 10, 10 plus bikes are like way behind me, so. If you're wondering, uh, this electric solution comes in handy. Again, I'm fully exposed at a stoplight in the bike lane. It's okay, we'll get through this. We can do it. Uh, end up uh, smelling food on the way home here, people cooking. It's going to make me crazy hungry. Is that somebody's car smoking or did they hit a patch of dirt? <clears throat> Something over that way. Quite a bit of traffic. And now a train. Yeah, quite a bit of traffic, all things considered. See, that's what people do. They don't realize it, then they go in this bike lane. That's how I got almost ran over that one time. Now I got a train coming. It's not good. Or it went. I guess it already went. It's kind of crazy. Crazy stuff. It's all good. Yay, we made it. Almost. No train, good sign. We are a little bit more than halfway home. Um, is kind of the halfway-ish point, uh, a little more, pretty sure. Which is good. You know what, I'm hungry, but I'm not like weak. That's the worst feeling, when you're hungry and weak, I can't handle that. But when you're just hungry, like starving, can't wait for a good meal, that's like the best. You know, it just is. And then uh, you try to not eat super fast even though you're starving and all that good stuff. Good habits. Crap. That part sucks. I was kind of lazy. I didn't really feel like pedaling a lot, but the battery now is flashing. Which means I'm going to have to pedal more. What was that I just said about feeling weak? <laughs> no! Oh, man. Okay, so I got to pedal more. Got to milk this thing. Come on. 
Turn green. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so I have to get motivated to pedal. Here we go. We get to the bike trail here. Okay, we're gonna pedal, okay? And we're clear. All right. Try to get some out of this. This part's flat. Usually when it starts flashing, it'll go another couple miles, I think. So I think I'm, I think I'm okay. Well, that's, you don't see that every day. Pointy circles. Stopping us now. Do do do. Stop. Bugs. Gotta put the mask on. It helps for the bugs. I know somebody was like, "You look like an idiot with your mask on." So now I kind of wear it on the other side. Then I was like, "Am I giving in? Should I just wear the skull mask?" Sometimes I do, just to spite that one person, whoever that is. Funny how that works, isn't it? Oh, humans. Okay, so we're, so far the bike is doing quite, we're on an incline here. So the bike is doing most of the work. I'm just kind of moving the pedals around a little bit, putting a little bit of pressure on them to uh, try to extend the battery. Now we're gonna go downhill, full throttle. There we go. There we go. Now we're gonna go uphill. Yeah, pedal to help it out. Try to milk the most got two people coming. Yeah, it's a good sign. We are like a mi maybe two miles away. Did I say that already? I kind of feel like I did. Yeah, so far it's working though. I'd say I'm thinking about work less. Like I have to think about something else. Yeah, I gotta, you know, a stressful job. You gotta have something to, do physical exercise is one of the keys. That is certainly one of the keys. We do have beautiful sky, the orange lights. I tell you, we're spoiled in this little part of the country. Ow. Oh, by the way, the seat is very comfortable. I said ow, but it's because I hit a harsh bump. But the seat is very comfortable on this thing. I've logged over 2,000 miles. I feel like I could I could ride this bike all freaking day long if the battery would sustain. That's what they should do. Uh, electric bike, like Tour de France thing. And then you got the car that follows you and, and they uh, sw hot swap the batteries. I think that's a pretty genius idea. Because it's like, if your electric bike can, can outlast the other electric bikes, I think that's an awesome idea. I need to reach out to some people. Yeah, I'm doing full electric. Now I got a pedal to help it out, help the system work it out help the system make it go faster it needs less battery get people coming go the clock uh, right at that we're gonna have to uh, head over to the left here so we will part through here and 
Hit anything gnarly. So far so good. Or golden. Also, my I have not had a flat tire, I must say, ever since. So I've got the Mr. Tuffy liner, which eh, it works most of the time. But then once you add that goop in there, your green goo, the slime. Once you add the green slime, there we go. Um, I just have not had, I mean, there might be a hole in the tires, I would imagine by now, but I have not put air in the tires. I've not, probably adds weight, right? I know it adds weight, but I haven't had to like mess with the whole tire thing. But if you do have an electric bike, I cannot tell you enough how you want to perfect changing a tire. Like make that your top priority. Cause if you're out and about and you don't have a spare, you don't have like air, compressed air, you don't have like a little patch kit, you will be hating life. These things just turn into lead turds. They do, you just get a, you're just sitting there all helpless, you know? So, there you go. So that's what I'm doing. I'm watching that. I'm watching Celebrity Apprentice, high value television. What else am I watching? This is Us, I think is what it's called. I'm watching that, it's really, someone told me about that show and I'm like, yeah, I don't know if I could deal with the drama right now. I got enough drama in my life. And then uh, I tuned in the first episode. I was like, hey man, that's a pretty damn good acting. And then I'm like, it's, it's nice too to see actors like that you don't, haven't seen before or rarely see new people love it oh somebody's cooking some barbecue oh, damn it's not good i think tonight we're having i want to say trout or salmon i believe some sort of fish type substance is the protein Yes, and my battery is still working, so I am not having to suck wind here. Jeez, guys, I, I tried to fit this massive bike in a tiny little area, but it was easy. Is that a green? Ah, oh, crap. I'm going to wait. Modified exhaust on that BMW. Oh, look at all these cars. Look at all these cars. That's millions of dollars in vehicles that could instead be going the cost effective route of electronic commute. Anyway, I think that's about it. You guys have yourself a good one, and I'll see you later. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe. Free my soul.